Okay, so I'm going to do a stream here that uh, talks about HDR. Um, I think I might have found something interesting that you might find interesting as well. If you run HDR in iRacing, you, from my experience, I lose a lot of FPS. And I think I found a better way to run HDR without using HDR checked on in IBS and in <laughs> iRacing. So you can see right now my frames are around 200 and 7, 203, 205 frames per second, somewhere in that range. And um, I've got HDR turned on in Windows, but I do not have it yet turned on in uh, in iRacing. So if I go to graphics, I turn on uh, that, I uh, will need to do a reboot. You notice there's no difference right now, but there's no HDR being viewed right now. So I need to get out of iRacing and then um, restart this test sorry I need to live through a boot up I'm gonna do this another time too so you'll notice while that while we're waiting for that why is it not launching there we go um, you'll notice that I'm using HDR on the monitors here all three of them um, if you go into any one of these three that I have HDR on, you'll notice that Auto HDR is an option. And it basically, I, the way I think it works is it turns on, it converts SDR to HDR, I believe. So now that we've got HDR on, you get a look at what this looks like. It's very good. The colors are darker in the car. The, 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 the railings are lighter. Um, yeah, but you notice the frames are 140, and it was 206, 207 before. So I've lost at least 60 FPS. So now I'm going to go back in and turn off the graphic of HDR. Quit this, because you do need to quit to reset things. But before I relaunch, I'm going to turn on this auto HDR. And that turns it on for all three monitors, by the way. So if I go into any one of these, you can see that auto HDR is turned on. And uh, let's let's load it up again. So what I found is that the visually it looks pretty much the same as having HDR turned on in iRacing, but I gained back pretty much all of you can see this little message here that says auto hdr is on for iRacing but i pretty much gained back uh, most of the 60 plus fps that i lost by turning hdr on in game so here we go we're back in the game same bright um boards it's a little lighter in, in the in the car um so it's not the same hdr but it's 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 better than the normal one, normal non-HDR, but it's it's not quite as dark on the interior of the car. Whereas here, it's not quite as dark. This might actually be better for night racing than the HDR in, in eye racing. But more importantly, I've got 200 frames here. So yeah, I've lost six or seven frames maybe, but not 60. So I think this is a very valuable way to get some level of HDR, but uh, not lose massive amounts of uh, of uh, FPS. Now I've got 345 LG monitors here so the impact is probably greater for me than if you have 32s because uh, I've got 3440 by 1440p per monitor so more pixels so I believe the HDR in iRacing has a bigger impact but I had a friend of mine do this um, and uh, he saw I think a 40 FPS increase by doing it this way as, as opposed to doing it within uh, iRacing. So your mileage may vary, but hopefully this uh, is interesting and helpful for you.